Whenever I film, I always forget how to do makeup. Sometimes the lash just won't come on. Ah! I used the wrong brush. My money thick, thick, hey. Walk with a limp, limp, huh? I'm on some pimp shit, hey. He say you all about money. Hey you guys, it's Ayana and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be showing you guys how to achieve this super dewy, super bronzy summer makeup look. It's my ultimate bronze makeup look. I literally love it. I wear it all the time. I just think it looks so pretty on the skin and I just am obsessed with it. So I decided to film a tutorial. Um, I asked on my makeup Instagram. Um, if people wanted to see a tutorial and I got some comments so I did a tutorial and I just love this look if you want to see how I achieve this look keep watching so now that the eyebrows are on we can actually finally get into this tutorial and I've been really loving this NYX honey do me up um, primer. I really think this is a really good primer especially for like the ultimate like glowy dewy bronzy look it has gold flakes in it and it's like a honey base so it's really like what is this word like sticky not sticky but like i don't know it smells really good the makeup can really stick to it i really think it makes your makeup look really good every time that i've done my makeup using this primer it just turned out amazing like, my face already looks so, like, glowy. It is like a mucousy texture. That's what I was trying to say. It's a very mucousy texture, but... And a little bit sticky, yeah. But it's just... Once it, like, soaks into your skin, it's just so beautiful. This is the foundation that I've been using, and it's the Maybelline Fit Me, the dewy smooth one, not the matte and poreless one. one is a little bit... I don't like matte, I like dewy. So if you wanna get this look, use the dewy foundation. And this is in the shade 330. Um, I really like this. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but this is also my summer foundation. So this is what I use in the summer. And I really like it. Actually for my forehead, it's like a good match. That's so crazy. But like on my cheeks, I don't know why like my cheeks don't like tan or something. But um, yeah, it looks a little bit darker than my cheek color. But on my forehead, it like matches completely. I don't know why. I'm taking this Real Techniques buffing spun um brush, and I like to buff in my foundation and then go over it with a um beauty blender because I just feel like. The brush doesn't waste as much product. It gets in everywhere. And then the beauty blender I just use to make sure there's no harsh marks. I'm just gonna go tap over everything, make sure there's no patches or anything like that. And just go over everything lightly. Okay, now that that, like, look at my skin. This is still showing. This is not the fullest coverage, and I could have built it up more. I'm not going anywhere important, so I'm just filming this video. Taking my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Warm Beige. Um, I'm going to be putting this under my eyes. Um, sometimes I like to let it sit a little bit so it can like really get in, but I don't know. I really like this concealer a lot tap it in. I'm not really trying to move the product too much. Um, just in dabbing motions, I don't really swipe with my beauty blender. I feel like it's ineffective and this is more precise when you just dab it around. I love this powder. And it's in um, the shade 147, Mad About It. Um, it's like a translucent powder, kind of. It's a little bit beige, but it's still pretty white. Um, but I only really use this under my eyes. I don't really use it anywhere else. I'm just sweeping it lightly all over my under eyes. I don't really bake. 
and it looks really nice. I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me Chubby Stick in the shade 355. Um, and as you can tell, I use this like all the time. I love it. And yeah, I always like to use a warm shade for my contour. I don't like to use ashy shades. I just, um, I don't like that. Maybe if it's more, if you're really trying to contour, you can use an ashy shade. But this is mainly just for warmth and bringing color back into my skin. That's mainly what I care about. I don't really care too much about like changing like too much of a shape of my face. You know what I mean? After that is blended out with the brush. Going back in with the beauty blender to just make sure everything is blended nicely. This L'Oreal true match um bronzer well setting powder in the shade c8 coca um i'm taking this big fluffy brush to get this bronze look like this is one of my favorite steps in this type of makeup and i always use a big fluffy one and i literally just go to town or maybe i did too much right there but i just do this all over just keep bronzing just keep bronzing keep swimming just keep swimming just keep swimming swimming swim this is like actually my favorite step i used to really not like bronzer that much i use this big brush so it's not as precise do this this is so satisfying to watch. I don't know why, I just love doing this. Blush! So I'm using this um, Juvia's Place brush. It's called Afrique Blush by Juvia's, I think. And it's in the shade Bella, I think. I just think this is such a pretty blush. And I also use the same brush. I'm using this same brush and going in, I'm not cleaning it or anything because some of the bronzer from the other from earlier is still going to be on it so it's just going to make everything come nicely together and i'm really going lightly just back and forth and going a little bit over the bronzer and it's just so beautiful to me and then if you think you did too much blush like i think i went a little bit overboard in the blush today um, I'm just, you know, going back in with this beauty blender and tapping right over it. Okay, I think it's better now. Now for the eyes, I'm literally going to use my bronzer so everything just looks so seamless. I'm going in with like a flat shader brush and dipping it in like this, dusting it off. And I'm literally... Packing it on my lid. Blend it up and out a little bit. Up and out, up and out. And yeah, there's the final eyeshadow look basically. And then with this same brush, I'm just gonna go under my eye a little bit. And with my Laura Geller highlight in the shade Gilded Honey. And I'm taking this really tiny brush and I'm gonna highlight the inner corner. And then highlight the brow bone and the nose. Spray my face with water. I just put it in my Max Fix Plus um, container. I love spraying my face with water throughout my makeup routine because, um, and then I pat again because it just helps make everything look so freaking seamless and I love that look. Now that my face is a little bit damp again, I'm going to go in with this Morphe brush, um, M441. Ah! I used the wrong brush. And I try to mainly keep the highlight right here. Doesn't always work. Because for me, highlight just gets everywhere. I don't know 
why but i'm trying to keep it real close to just right here highlight right here above my brow bone um so yeah the look is almost complete let me just go over everything one more time using this random brown pencil from kiss i think it's the beauty supply store brand and it looks like this i'm going to align my lips And I'm going in with this MAC Bullet Lipstick I'm in the shade Hark. And I just love this shade. It's like a nude color. Looks so pretty, especially with a brown lip liner. Oh my god, I love it so much. And then I'm just going to add some of this um, Marc Jacobs Gloss. Um, doesn't even have a shade. It was also in a variety pack. Um... I'm going to put that in the center of my lips. And then I'm going to use my Morphe um, Continuous Setting Mist. Um, I feel like it's out, but every time I spray it, there's still stuff in it. So I don't know what that says, but it just looks so beautiful. Um, and then I feel like lashes i am dumb oh my god so i'm going to just be using this la Flair 3d lashes in the shade i mean in the style sd 21 f um they're just very dramatic i just love these and they're so pretty once you put them on Sometimes the lash just won't come on. This is it for my look. The lashes are finally on. Um, so yeah, this is my ultimate glowy bronzy makeup look. So yeah, if you like this video and you want me to do more makeup videos, let me know in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe, follow my social media, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!